Our lesson for today will be looking at chemistry 1502. The topic for today is IUPAC naming lesson 101. Let us start. The meaning of IUPAC simply means um, union of pure and applied chemistry. That is the meaning of IUPAC. It has to do with the naming of the compounds in organic chemistry. So it is very important to know how to name the compounds. We just have to follow few guidelines in order for us to name the correct or give the correct name for particular compound looking at the structure, considering its homologous series and also the parent chain. Now, so far you've learned about the two homologous series and also being introduced to the alkyl group. The alkyl group is the methyl, the ethyl, propyl. So we are going to focus mainly on those three concepts. And you also know the isomers. So we are going to cover isomers, we are going to cover IUPAC naming. At the same time we will be looking at more alkyl groups. So to master how to name this. I'm just going to look at many examples and then just make sure that as you do all the examples as we continue, you pause the video and try to attend with us and then play the video to verify. So let us look at the first example. Suppose we have this type or this compound CH3 CH CH2, CH2, and then CH3 here. I'm running out of space, and then let me put another one here, CH3. We've already looked at few examples based on this, so I can say you're in position to pause the video and try to work out and play the video. Now the first thing that you have to do, you have to identify the parent chain, the longest chain. So you can see that we cannot say one, two, three. This is definitely not the longest. But let us take it like this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then even, even if we take it this direction, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We still have a longest chain. So it is our choice whether we take it this direction or this direction. And then we check the branch or the substituent or the attached. You can see that if we take it this direction, we have an attachment here. And then if you take it this direction, this will be our attachment. And you should understand that not both ways are actually correct. We will look at the guidelines to check which one is the correct way to name this. Now if we decide to write this in expanded form, we are going to have something like this. Remember it is CH3. So I want us to look at the alkyl groups because this is the first alkyl group. We know that CH4 is actually methane from the alkanes and then CH3, you can see the difference. This is running short of one hydrogen atom comparing to this one. This we call it a methyl. So the name of CH3 is methyl. And then in this case, it is our attachment or substituent. So when we name, we should consider these. It's very important. And looking at the chain, we don't have any double bond or triple bonds. 
So it simply means that, let us check, if we take it this way, our substituent or our attachment is on carbon number two. So this simply means that our name will consist of two hyphen methyl. This simply means that our touch group or our alkyl group is on carbon number two. This two represents that. And remember that always between weights and numbers, there, there should be a dash or this hyphen. And then let us identify the longest chain. We've said we have seven carbons. So it simply means that we have heptane. Seven carbons, there are no double bond between carbon and carbon. So let us look at this. If we take it this direction, we are going to have our methyl group on the sixth carbon. And then still, when you take it this direction, we still have seven uh, carbons. So we have to compare two methyl and six methyl. You'll have to always choose the lowest value. So this will guide us on which side should we start. Since you can see six is greater than two, so it simply means that you're going to start here. This will be our first carbon. So the name will be two methyl heptane. Another thing you should be careful of, there's no space between these two weeds. It's only one weed. Let us look at this one. You should be familiar that and know that we don't always have a straight long chain. So let us check. We have one, two, three, four. This cannot be the longest chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This can be our longest chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cannot be our longest chain. So if you take it this direction, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven we still have seven as our longest chain. So you can see that it's either we take it this direction or this direction. But remember, bear in mind, we are looking for the lowest value. So this will be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our attachment is on carbon number three. And then the attachment is CH3, meaning that we have methyl. If we take it this direction, you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five. It will be five methyl. So in this case, we have three methyl, and then we don't have any double bonds, so it will be. 3 methyl heptane. It's similar to the previous one. Let us look at this one. We can start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You can see that this will definitely be our longest chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This can also be our longest chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This can also be our longest chain. But let us check. If we take it this direction, we have our attached group as this one. It's on carbon number three. If we take it this direction, we have this will be our attachment which is also on carbon number three. If you take it this direction, we have our attachment as these. It will be on carbon one, two, three, four, five, carbon number five. And then if we take it uh, this direction, we have uh, this attachment on carbon number five. So you can see that the best way, it's either we take it this direction or this direction. Our attachment will have 
a lowest value. So if you take it this direction, this will be the attachment. Now this is another alkyl group we should bear in mind, which is like the CH2, CH3. It's actually like this. It is from the parent chain. This carbon is bonded with the longest chain. And then you will have two hydrogens and three hydrogens on the last carbon. The attachment actually has two carbons. So let us refer to our first homologous series. We know that if we have C2H6, this is ethane. Now in this case, you can see that this is C2H5. It's running short of one hydrogen to be the same as this one. So this one, we call it an ethyl. So you can see the trend. The next one will be propyl, butyl, pentyl. So this one, you can see the attachment. It has an ethyl. So we have its own group, its own carbon number three. So we have three ethyl. And then the parent chain, we have seven of them. Heptane. Then if we were to write this using a skeletal structure, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let me actually draw it here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, let me start afresh. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we locate carbon number three. This would actually be our carbon number three. And then to put an attachment, it will be like this. Remember that for methyl. We simply put like this. So for ethyl, will be like this. Example number four. Pause this video. Try to work out this question. Take the video. Remember, we are trying to find the IUPAC name of this compound. Now let us start by identifying the parent chain. One, two, three, four, five. Well, you can say one, two, three, four, five. These are the attachments. Looking at the type of attachments we have, we have the methyl groups. From here, let us identify where do we have those methyls. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Even if you take it from left, we are going to have one, two, three, four, five. So it doesn't matter which side do we start, we're still going to have a methyl group on two and four. So we start by locating those methyls it's on carbon number two we have another one on carbon number four so between two numbers we have this it's two comma four and then we put a dash we know that we have methyl groups but how many do we have we should know that for one in chemistry one mono Di means two, tri means three, tetra means four. 
So how many methyl groups do we have here? We have two of them, so we are going to put di here. Dimethyl, the parent chain is um, 4, which is pentane. Dimethyl, pentane. On the next example, I will show you the easiest way to write down an IUPAC name for a particular compound. Let us look at this particular compound. We are trying to write the name of this compound. Let us start by identifying the longest chain. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let us take it this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. Still the same. If we take it at this direction, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can see still the same. Um, so we can consider this as our limit chain. It's fine. And then looking at attachments, we have this attachment and also this one. Now the question is, are we going to start from this direction or this direction? Let us go ahead and label our carbons. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. If you are paying attention, you'd know the answer already. So let us start with the attachments. We have this attachment, which is ethyl, and this attachment, which is methyl. So starting from left, we can see our ethyl, it's on carbon number four. So we have four ethyl, and then we have on carbon number five, we have five methyl. Just break it down, you just break it down into parts, and then you'll know how to name this. And then the parent chain is hexane. So combining this name, you will have to look at the alphabetical order in order to start. Let's say you want to know whether we start with ethyl or methyl. We look at um, E and M. E comes first alphabetically, and then M comes next. So we start with 4 ethyl, and then dash 5 methyl hexane. This is when we start from left. Let us start from right. Starting from right, we can see that we have our ethyl on carbon number three. And then we have our methyl on carbon number two. And then we still have hexane. So this name will be three ethyl. Two methyl hexane. Remember that it's only, it's actually, I don't have to put a capital letter here, it's one name, hexane. Also, this one should be small letter case, I mean, lower case. So, comparing the two, remember that you always look for the lowest one. Four, comparing it with three, three is lowest. Five, comparing it with two, two is lowest. So, this will be the correct name for this compound. Lesson 102, let me actually say this, it will be Lesson 101, 101.2 of this will continue from example number 6. That's it for this lesson video. This is Mahula HA. Thank you very much.